Right, everyone. Wham Collector here. Right, this is going to be a new series on basically making zombie knives into legal knives. I am going to do a quick disclaimer first. I just want to explain what I'm doing. There are a lot of collectors out there who have spent a lot of money on knives with no intention of ever hurting anyone. Most people who collect knives have no intention of ever hurting anyone. And they would like to keep the knives that they have collected and bought and spent a lot of money on. A lot of these knives are worth a lot more than the compensation you'll get. And also, some people don't want to have the compensation. They want to keep their knives. There are ways to make the zombie knives legal. Now, a lot of the crappy old zombie knives, no one's going to want them anyway, and they're perfectly happy to give those up. But there are a lot of collector's pieces that people would like to keep. So I'm going to show you ways to make those legal. One other thing I will say, because people will be saying, oh my God, look, he's showing people how to keep zombie knives, right? I just want to show you something. So this is a, this will be classed as a zombie knife. This is a, a Rambo knife, essentially. A lot of people collect these. And because it's longer than eight inches and has the serrations on the back, that will be classed as a zombie knife and will be illegal to own. Okay. Remember that when I show you this next knife. So this one, after the zombie knife changes, will be perfectly legal. And, you know, I would say that is just as dangerous as that one. It, it's you know that, that's that's the thing they can ban all the zombie knives they want there will always be other knives that will be perfectly legal to own and don't forget it is already illegal to kill people it is already illegal to carry a big knife like this in public anyway so banning zombie knives isn't going to make a difference to anything sadly that may take some knives off of the streets but as i said there will always be alternatives and there will always be kitchen knives. You're never going to ban kitchen knives. Anyway, there's the disclaimer. I'll now show you how to make one of these Rambo knives into a legal knife. The options are you will either need to cut all the serrations off, completely blunten the, the blade, or make the blade less than eight inches. And that's the option I'm going to do. So with an angle grinder, I'm going to cut off the tip of the blade. I can keep the serrations then, because as long as it's not over 8 inches, it isn't a zombie knife. Again, you can blunten it. I'll just explain a few ways to blunten this as well. So if you have no tools whatsoever and you want to blunten a knife, you can just go outside somewhere, basically rub the blade on some kind of rock or concrete, and you will eventually blunten the blade doing that. And... That one, pretty much anyone can do. Angle grinders are reasonably cheap. If you do buy an angle grinder to do this, make sure you watch some videos learning how to use them properly, because obviously they can be dangerous. You may be able to cut this with a hacksaw. I highly doubt it, though. So what I'm going to do now is cut this with an angle grinder and then using a simple belt grinder, put the edge back on it, and then that'll be perfectly legal. Don't forget to keep the blade cool as you go, so you don't completely mess up the temper. Okay, so this is from the guard to the tip. That blade is now under eight inches long. I've shaped the blade to how oh, I'm happy, giving it an edge again. So just to finish off that edge, I'm just going to use a bit of wet dry sandpaper here. I'm not even going to bother wetting it, just to make the edge a little bit nicer.
thing is, this is never a, a knife I'm going to use anyway. And that's the issue. You're having to get rid of these nice display pieces for nothing. I find it ridiculous. Because as we know, anyone who wants to stab someone will find multiple things they could use. So there you go. That is now perfectly legal to own. It's not a zombie knife now because it is under 8 inch blade. I'll just show you that. It is actually 7.5 inches now. So it therefore doesn't fall under the description of a zombie knife. I'm quite happy with that. One of the other reasons I didn't want to get rid of this is it was a birthday present. Uh, there's no way I'm accepting £10 for a birthday present I was given. You know, um, but yeah, you can make these things perfectly legal. And as I've said, I'm not trying to show criminals how to make these things legal to have because it's already illegal to murder someone. It's already illegal to carry knives, fixed blade knives on the street anyway. What I am trying to do, though, is to help legitimate collectors not break the law because that I don't think is acceptable. You know, there are a lot of people who want to keep their collection and if they can, they will. And this is a perfectly acceptable way to do it, in my opinion. Because as mentioned, that other knife I showed you will still be perfectly legal after any of the zombie knife changes anyway. So it's going to make no difference to what you can own apart from, you know, you can't have things with over 8 inch blade restorations and stuff like that, which is, which is ridiculous. So there is the zombie knife made perfectly legal. As mentioned, the other ways you could do this are cut the serrations off or blunten the blade or take the tip off. I do have a friend who cut his down straight down like a, um, it's called a sax if you know your blades. But yeah, similar to sort of like a flathead tanto, I suppose, to the, the layman, but not. So yeah, they can be made perfectly legal and good looking and serviceable still all right there'll be more in this series this is just this knife i will do a separate video for each knife all right so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful don't forget to share the video definitely subscribe because then you'll see the other ones because you may have a knife that you would like to make legal and i may be doing a modification on one very similar to what you'll be doing okay all right thanks for watching everyone See you later.